Since Rimscale VR isn't going to be a thing for at least another few months, we're going to spend our time with the first batch of VR heads that's coming our way on our asses. A VR startup called Verzoom wants to do things a little differently. Instead of sitting us down in swivel chairs and putting those VR headsets on our faces, we're wearing those same headsets while riding specially designed exercise bikes. Now this thing has been around for a while, and in earlier iterations you were able to hook up Verzoom's VR system, which is really just an Oculus Rift or one of PlayStation's PSVR headsets, to an existing exercise bike. The team went back to the drawing board, however, and realized, yeah, we kind of have to make a special bike for this. So now we've got a $249 folding exercise bike you plop your ass down on and start pedaling. You're not using the controls on the bike itself for the most part. There are controls on the handlebars. Most of the time, though, you'll be controlling your avatar with your own body by leaning left and right and pedaling faster or slower. So when I took on the form of a Pegasus, you lean left and right to careen through the trees and you pedal faster to shoot upwards into the sky and sort of slow things down a bit in order to dip down back onto the ground. And all of these worlds are created in Unity, so I'm told it's pretty easy to create new games for this, which is great because the Resume system only comes with five games right off the bat. Some are incredibly trippy. Pollinator, for example, puts you in the role of an insect buzzing around a garden pollinating flowers because nature? And it's these sorts of realistic situations that give the Verzoom system a bit of trouble. Leading left or right to control a guy on a horse sort of makes sense. It becomes second nature very quickly. But leaning around is not how you drive a car. It's never going to be how you drive a car. And it's going to be difficult to entice some developers to really think about how to create an experience that matches the device you're sitting on. Thankfully, at least the team has said that they will continue to work on the games that ship with the Verzoom, along with games that will follow. You will, however, have to pay a $9.99 monthly subscription for it.